Now, the British government said it's begun the formal start of negotiations on a new trade deal with Canada. Bilateral trade was estimated to have been worth over £19 billion between the two countries in 2020. Canada is also planning to restart talks with India about a free trade pact. Let's bring in Mary Young now, the Canadian Minister of International Trade, Export, Promotion, Small Business and Economic Development, joins us from Ottawa. Minister, thank you very much indeed for your time uh, this morning and thank you for joining us. You have held talks with India just over a, a week ago. Uh, what was the outcome of those talks and does it uh, pave the way and how close are you to a free trade agreement? Um, the meeting that I had, the visit I had in India it was very productive. Uh, I had a ministerial trade dialogue, which was the pr purpose for my trip. We do these things on a regular basis so that we can, um, you know, continue to advance the trading relationship. But what we decided we would do um, coming out of that trip was to launch what we call an early progress trade agreement. And uh, this is a first step towards a more comprehensive economic partnership between Canada and India. I think this uh, is a very good first step to build on what is already a strong trade and investment relationship both ways between India and Canada. Uh, so a very, very excellent first start. India's uh, federal budget plans to increase uh, spending on infrastructure by uh, one third, Minister, as I'm sure you know. Does that represent uh, a big opportunity then potentially for uh, Canadian businesses who want to contribute to that kind of developmental uh, activity? And was that uh, one of the uh, focal areas of the discussion? Absolutely, Sri. I mean, it's very exciting to see what is taking place in India. It is uh, certainly a growing market. Uh, Canada is very committed to growing our presence in the Indo-Pacific, India being an important part of that. Um, the investments that I'm talking about, Canada's investors, including some of our largest investors in, in, in our pension funds, as well as others, total around $65 billion right now in India. And uh, this says that our investors are confident in the business activity that is going to be taking place in India, including in infrastructure. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.